This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Redwood fifth wheel. The model number is 4150RD. Okay, so this is not a show uh, or a floor plan video, it's more of a how to video. I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work. Okay, just get you a, a general understanding. So, obviously, you have slide toppers. And you also have a six-point leveling system. So I'll show you the leveling system and, and uh, talk to you about that when we get to the controller. But it ha does have six jacks on it, three on each side, okay? As we move forward, you have outside speakers. You have power awning with LED strip, of course. This is um, uh, it this way. This is your on-demand water heater. So we'll talk more about that when we get to the controls inside also. Um, keep, keep in mind that you can turn it on and off from out here. It is a win the trailer is winterized as far as I know. I, I know we're at the point where we're just starting to uh, leave them dewinterized. So maybe yours is, maybe it isn't. We'll, we'll know when you pick up for sure, okay? Um, but you do have a, a switch outside also. Uh, you have, this is just 110 AC, of course you have your, let me see if I can do this with one hand here, there we go. Your pass through basement storage here, your hydraulics are down here, as you can see. Um, these are attachments for your vacuum, these are, uh, this is uh, your, your water filter wrench and a water filter. There's an inline, or what is that? Another one? Okay. And then you have a coiled sprayer here also, your dump hose and a crank. Um, this is your uh, your uh, vacuum here. Now, of course, the, uh, you'll have a, 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 a spot to attach the hoses inside and then a, a dustpan feature where you just sweep the dirt in front of it and turn it on and it'll suck it in. You have a there's your remote control. You have an outside radio. The radio has AM and FM. It has Bluetooth. It has USB drive. Um, so it has everything you need. That's the controller for your touch panel there. This is your uh, water manifold here. Okay. You have a 30 pounder on each side. So two 30 pounders. Okay. This would be where you would put a generator, okay? That's the storage here. Your battery is behind here. Another 30-pounder. Um, now, the, keep in mind that these lights are prepped for a, a Furion backup camera kit or camera kit. So, this is kind of a dummy here. If you were to purchase the kit, these pieces come off and the, and the camera fits right on there. So keep in mind that it's it's prepped for that. You, if you wanted, you can just get the backup camera, or you can get the side cameras. You can do whatever you want, or not get anything. But you can you can choose whatever you want. All right. So this is your water station here. First of all, this is the outside controller for your leveling system. 13.5 volts is perfect. So what you're going to use on this one, the two main features is auto level which is right here of course then you're going to use um, let me see here uh, auto hitch height see that one right there auto hitch and you push enter to begin those are the two you're going to use the reason being when you auto level it it remembers that position it remembers the position it was in when you auto leveled it so therefore um, it remembers what position it was when right before you uh, or right after you pulled your tow vehicle out from underneath it so if you push auto level, it'll put it right back into that position so you can slide underneath and hook back up. So those are the two you really need to use, but you can you can retract all. If you retract all, remember it'll 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 nosedive it. You know, the front will go down also. It won't break anything unless you got something under there, but um, you don't need to nosedive it. And <coughs> excuse me. And then you'll you can uh, you can adjust uh, the uh, jacks independently so it has several features that's your canister for your water filter your valves for your tanks um, 
This is a city water hookup right here. That's the most common way to get water, obviously. And then you can you can see you got the different drawings of the positions of these four valves, depending on what you want to do. City water, which is the most common, is for example like this. If you look at the, the configuration there and there here, so that's city water. If you want to fill your, your onboard tank, if you're camping someplace without uh, city water and you want to take water with you, you'd put it in this position. Pump out of your tank, you'd put it in this position. Winterize, it's this position, so on and so forth. Now this is your black tank flush here. So keep in mind that um, after you dump your, your black tank, which is right here, after you dump it, you, you can... Um, uh, you can leave the valve open, like it says on the sticker here, make sure you leave the valve open, then you can hook, hook the hose on there at the dump station, turn it on, it'll spray out your tank and clean off the sensors, that sort of thing. And of course you have cable and satellite through there. Okay, uh, that's just your exhaust for your furnace. Sewer connections are under here, right there. You have a... Uh, 50 amp system here, so you have a 50 amp cord. Now this pulls out and you have a, a re power retract on it. So it retracts with power and you pull it out with uh, using your uh, strength. Um, there's also the fresh water drain is down here. It will be, uh, I don't know if, yeah, you can see it. it's a white gate valve back there. Hopefully you can see that. That's for your fresh water tank. You have a ladder which makes it easy to inspect the roof. The manufacturer says every 60 or 90 days you should inspect the roof or somebody should inspect it. So keep in mind, uh, you're looking for cracking or separation at any of the sealant. You're looking for damage, especially with a tall trailer like this. You're looking at damage by low branches, uh, road debris, things like that. Uh, you're just looking to keep ahead of any potential problems. So that should be part of your regular maintenance. You can also see the, the hook up there, the, the pre-wire uh, housing for the uh, backup camera also. All right, so let's go inside. Got the crazy spring weather going on here. Okay, so when we first come in the door, this is your power converter. So this converts AC to DC power. So when you're plugged into shore power, you have Regular circuit breakers here, 110 AC, just like you'd have at home, and they're all labeled here. Then the power is converted over a 12 volt DC on this side, so you got 12 volt fuses, and they're all labeled. Also, this is a battery tender, so it'll, when you're plugged into shore power, it'll sense how much energy your battery up front has and needs, and it'll send as many amps necessary to keep it charged. So that's your power converter. So it has a, a distribution center. It, ha it converts AC to DC and charges your battery. Okay, here is your touch panel. The default code is four zeros. Okay, there you have it. So I'm not going to go over all the functions. Um, it's uh, something you'll have to learn, but it's, it's the generator is prepped. Okay. Even though there's not a generator in it, it still here shows up here on the screen. You can control your awnings from here, right? Whoops. Uh, your slides from here, your lights. Uh, you can um, control the landing gear from here. Uh, HVAC. Um, off, we can just turn it on and put it in. Heat. Whoops, not electric. Let me do this right here. And off. Auto. Yep. Oh, here I am. Supposed to be know exactly what I'm doing here. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll have to educate myself a bit be before I try and fake my way through it at this point. But anyway, that's where you set the uh, the the climate in the trailer. Um, this is for your uh, Truma system with your. Uh, a heater and your water heater so that's where you control it right there this is your your uh, digital antenna your 360 antenna that's the switch for that okay 
I think the reason this is just showing up, I didn't prep this trailer, but I think the reason this is showing up uh, as um, just electric heat here is because the regular heat is controlled from here. I would, I would bet on it. But I'll talk to the person who prepped it, and when you pick up, we'll, we'll have the, we'll know for sure. Okay. This plug here is a GFCI. Keep in mind that all the plugs in the trailer are still wired through a GFCI. Even if it's a regular plug, it's wired through a GFCI. Um, you have all your switches here. These are, um, this is a remote for your, uh, for your Max Air. So let's see, there's a Max Air right there. So you have a remote for it. You can operate the lid and the, and the fan speed and the direction, that sort of thing. Okay. Alrighty, so as we move through, your refrigerator is a 110 AC refrigerator, just like you'd see at home. Um, when you're plugged in, it's powered through the you know, campground power. When you're pulling down the road, it's powered by a power inverter, right? So it takes 12 volt DC and inverts it to 110 AC, okay? Um, there should be a, you can see this little threaded piece here. There's a, you should have it sitting out, but there should be a, a, a lock that screws in there. Anyway, it's in here, and uh, I'll make sure it's 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 available where you can see it. Um, but the, the idea is you want to screw that in to keep the doors and the drawer from sliding open and getting damaged in transit. Okay. All right. The dishwasher is it works like that any dishwasher does. It's pretty pretty typical. The uh, your keys are hanging right here, just so you know. Um, your uh, range is very simple. You're just going to select it on, turn it on, and then depress it till the lights hold it for a second. And that's all there is to it. And you have four burners, and then of course the oven, which works the same way. You have an oven light here. You have a panel light here. Okay. More lights here. To light it up. Now this uh, this is convection, so it's a it's a really nice microwave. It has two exhaust fan speeds, high and low, and then also a light underneath. Ah, here's the piece I was talking about right here. So this is what screws in there. I didn't bother turning around to look for it. They gave you extra paint um, and putty just in case you nick something you can touch it up um, your remotes this is your fireplace remote here so we'll start with that I guess I believe we're plugged into shore power so this is um, a space heater also so it really kicks out the heat uh, you can change there's low that's the fan speed so now you can feel the fan on high. Now it's really kicking out the heat right now. Um, you change the color of the crystals. Uh, flame, I believe, or it, can you? Uh, maybe not. Maybe just the crystals. Okay. Um, it also has a timer on it, so you can set it to turn on and turn off as you as you choose. There we go. Now this has a sound bar with a remote, right? Um, you also have a, a huge TV, which is, let's see if it's fixed or what. It looks like it's fixed. It does have a release cord so you can take it off. So your remotes for those are over here. This would be your, your sound bar remote right here. Basically a Bluetooth sound bar. And uh, your TV works like other TV. Any, any TV um, uh, remote. Let's see if I can get this open. This is just going to be all your literature and stuff in here. I guess I don't really need to open it, but as I started here, I'm going to set the camera down for a second. Yeah. So it's all all your literature. Every component in here has some manual with it. So there they are. Um, 
these uh, are hide beds here, both of them. So you pull the cushions off, you grab them underneath, unfold them, drop the legs, and you have two extra beds. Of course, you have uh, theater seats with uh, vibration, uh, massage. You have, let me shut that back off. And then you have uh, um, heaters in them, lights. You can uh, you recline and retract it. So. Right. So your leaf pulls out, so it, the table expands, of course. I bet there's, let me, before I say it, I'm going to look uh, from talk too fast. Let me look under here. No, that's a powered, let's see here. Yeah, so this... Uh, yeah, so this is a powered bed. Looks like it's right here. Yep, sure enough. Okay, you want that in the in the up sitting position when you bring the slide room in. You got a top secret compartment here. Still looking. Oh, I bet it's up here. Okay. Yeah. Here's your other two chairs here. Let me find some light here. Okay, I'll just do this. So there's your other two chairs. While we're up here, we're in the very nose of the trailer. It's you got it pre pre plumbed and wired for washer dryer, either a combo or a stackable. Plenty of room over here. Okay. Sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. You have another uh, Max Air fan, and there's the remote for it right there. Okay. The toilet works like all RV toilets in that it sits right over a black tank. Yeah. So it looks like I'm look. I'm seeing water here. I was talking earlier. I didn't know if it was winterized or not. Looks like it's dewinterized for you. So. If you want it winterized, make sure you mention it when you pick up. It's hard to tell with the way the weather is, you know, when we cut it off and start switching over. So, okay, so anyway, uh, you never use this dry. You always put a dose of chemical in the bowl. You step on the pedal and hold it down until you put at least a gallon of water in the tank along with the chemical. You can use more water, not less though. And um, then it's ready. If you, don't, if you don't use chemical and water, you probably know this, but if you don't use chemical and water, uh, it'll it'll get clogged up and it'll smell super bad super duper bad so okay so you get another TV up here of course a second air conditioner this is your router here um, so you can pay for 5G with this you know like a monthly contract or you can just use the public Wi-Fi uh, signal booster feature which is what a lot of people use um, because it really really boost the signal from public Wi-Fi. If your family uses a lot of Wi-Fi, that's a good feature to have. And what family doesn't, I guess, these days? Oh, uh, we walked past, we came in. This is uh, your carbon monoxide LP gas detector right here. It should always be green. If it's not green, get it serviced. Okay. Okay, let's just look around a little bit more, see if I forgot anything. I guess that pretty much does it. Um, so, like, when it comes to the control panel, um, one, two, three, four. You do have some master switches for your lights inside, exterior, and your security lights. You can operate your water pump right from here, and it always gives you your uh, your um, how much 12 volt DC you have in the system, which is good to always know, especially for like the leveling system. The leveling system wants to be have 
close to 13 volts anyway to operate correctly so um, you have that um, your slide is hydraulic all of them are hydraulic except the bed slide which is electric so that's you just have one button to operate all the, the, the slides out here right it'll just open one after another or close one after another but your bed slide is separate um, you have your tanks here you can see uh, the fresh water they're testing it so there's water in it but the black and two gray tanks are both empty or all three empty I'm sorry so okay all right, so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, please remember what I said about inspecting the roof. That's important. Obviously, uh, you want to protect your investment. You never know what's happening up there unless somebody goes up and looks. So that's important. And right now, it, it appears to be dewinterized. So um, we can talk to you more about that when you pick up. And any other questions you have when you pick up, we'll, we'll go through it with you, okay? Thank you very much.